Andy. Hey, your pal. Bradley. Hey. Hey. What this is, is this? What is, is, this is just the beginning. What are those sunglasses? What? <laughs> Look, <laughs> it covers this up. They don't. <laughs> You think the world wants to see this? I don't think they fit on your face very well. Oh, no, in my nose grew. <laughs> I've been telling lies lately. It looks weird. It does it? They look like little kids. Oh, it's my face, it's bloated. You remember like yours got all the time? Stuff, but I got some good stuff for us. What are you talking about? This isn't what we're gonna put Turn down the music. This isn't what we're gonna put out. We're gonna put out good stuff. This is what we're putting out. Now put your seatbelt on then. You want to hear the digging? Watch the language. We're not taping. Yes, we are. Oh, I'm sorry, kids. <laughs> I didn't know there was ladies and children and people. I Look, folks, I'm sorry. Anyways, he can bleep that out. He's great at editing. Is there something wrong with the glasses? Does my face look fatter? It, it, no, it doesn't look fat. They're, they're too high on your face. They should be... Ow! <laughs> those, you son of a gun! Those do not look good on you. You know what? It's the only thing I could scrape up. <laughs> they look like they're made for a four-year-old. Now I'm telling you, I've been getting bloated lately. I haven't been doing any work. No real good filming. I don't know. You've been busy doing other stuff. I've Andy. been around. You know that. I've been. Listen, folks. I've been around. If there's nothing on Brad's channel, it's because I never hear from him anymore. Andy. Your show that you did ended like a month ago. How long does it take to put up a couple big baby episodes, right, people? <laughs> huh? Have you seen the quality? <laughs> I mean, they're quality. I was supposed to have an episode up yesterday, and uh, I am behind. And tonight's not helping the situation. Oh, yeah, you got it behind, all right. Which way do I go? <laughs> go straight. So uh, tell the folks what we're doing here. Well, anyways, it's I know it's a little odd to hear Curly G without having my jacket and my bow tie on, but I gotta go to this thing, Hollywood Horror Fest 2019, and I gotta go incognito. This is what you dress like? I have no idea what, ign I, whatever, ignito means, but it's kinda neat, oh. Make it right, oh. So we're gonna go to dinner first. Yes, we are gonna eat. So tonight's Brad's movie premiere. Make it right, I said. Hey. So we're going to Brad's movie premiere. Brad's in a movie tonight. It's my second film I've been in. Yep. I can tell the story just because okay. I'm but driving. But you're not telling him. Make a left on the other. That's because I'm driving. Where are you going right now? We're going to the juice shop to return the bottles. I got about $30 in bottles. Brad's going to return them. We're going to use that money towards dinner. And you know what? Right. I'm a struggling actor too. Which way do I go? In here? Yeah, I've seen your acting. Yeah. You are definitely struggling. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll talk to people later about we'll the roles I'm in. Most of them I don't speak. You know, it's just like Grandpappy. He forgot his lines. I just don't get any. Anyways, hold on. Let's see if they take the bottles. Hmm. Okay, I see them. I, so I can't really tell you why Brad's returning these bottles uh, that I got. It's a long story. We'll tell you in the future sometime, so just keep watching the channel. Subscribe, hit the little bell for Brad. Anyway, so Brad's returning these bottles. I figure we get about 30 bucks. We're gonna use it towards dinner because we're two broke guys. I know, you wouldn't believe that we're broke. You don't know why we're broke. Because we act like we're rich and it looks like we're rich. But we are not rich. You would think Brad, especially with such a historical background and lineage, that he would be loaded. But uh, he is not. He is not loaded. He doesn't have any money. <laughs> okay, here's Brad. This is easier than acting. Look at the casola. Look at those smackers. Mula. Manny Mula. Manny Mula. How much did we get? How much did we get? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of dough. 30 bucks. Just like I said. It's a lot of dollars. So I told her, look, I drank all this juice in one day and I didn't have to get a colonic. <laughs> she goes, I would agree. She said, a lot of people return bottles today. <laughs> have you been there earlier, Andy? Nope. Where did you steal those bottles from? Don't worry about Don't worry about where I got the bottles Anyways, from. Now with that money, I can buy glasses that fit. You know, my grandmother lived to be 92 and never used glasses. Huh. Yeah, she drank straight from the bottle. Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey! 
I was built for stooge stuff. It's okay, ladies and gentlemen. I like to get hit. Where are we going? We're gonna go eat something. <laughs> We're gonna go south of the border. No, literally. I gotta go. Oh. Hey, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. It's Curly G. And we're about to go get some bites. You know, some eats. But not some Uber Eats, because I drove. Anyways, we're gonna go get some Latino food. And look, we got money. We got money towards our food. Hey, I had to return a whole bunch of bottles. Hey, it's nothing new. I've always been returning things. You know, like my life, my clothes, my savings. I don't know what he's talking about. Well, you might, you obviously should have returned this jacket. Well, here's the thing. I didn't have any clothes that fit. I've I've outgrown all my clothes. I need to drop 30 pounds or buy a whole new wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Nothing fits. You may want to so, drop more than that. You may want to drop that vernacular. <laughs> vernacular? Mm. That's a doiby. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we can't stop doing the Stooges. You know why? Because we love them. We're real fans. We're gonna we're gonna be doing the Stooges till the end. Till the end of the what? To the end of the world. Yeah. The yeah. Hey, start over. I don't know what to say. It's like I'm a celebrity or something. Andy and I walk into the restaurant. He tells the bartender that that's the guy. He's a huge Duke fan. Why don't you meet him? And look what we got. Show him, Andy. We got two shots of bourbon for free. And free ain't cheap. Hmm. Anyways. Andy, let's make a toast to the fans. Here's money, I. Cheers, fellas. And ladies, too. <laughs> I That's good stuff. I think it's pain remover. <laughs> Anyways, let's get happy, everybody. Sorry, Brad, I gotta shoot you. Shoot what? Don't. Are you an actor? Can I shoot you? I'm not an actor. <laughs> I moved out here to be a server, but being a server is so easy these days, so I act on the side so I can make money. You want to talk about it being easy being a server? That's my last name. That's his last name. Brad Server. Um. You have um. Queso Bandito? <laughs> yes. I want some queso. Because I think it's fun cheese. Uh, it's steak. It's steak. Yeah. It's been a mistake coming to what this else place. You want? I I don't I don't eat cheese. Can I get? Is there like street tacos? Is what I see. Like street tacos. We're in the building. Okay. Can I get some roll pill then? Okay, yes. Can I get a chicken taco <laughs> and a beef taco? And can you get something to get this balloon? I swallow the helium and I can't stop here, talking here. like this. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, excuse me, yes, I'd like a beef taco and a chicken taco, please. I believed you and I was feeling really sorry for myself. <laughs> uh, so, you believe in me? Yeah. Success! You're wearing a chain. There's no loser that wears a chain. <laughs> A chain and a white tee. <laughs> Don't get more unique than that. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> what are you eating, Brad? Hiya, folks. Well, like I told you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. More food. Hey, we have a flour tortillas. Thank you. Hey. Well, anyways, like Andy said, my face was getting a little fat because those glasses looked a little small. I didn't say that. Well, I said it. Thank you. But anyways, it's the truth. Now look at this. I'm having a little appetizer before the main meal. Hey, I'm gonna go on stage later, Q and A. I know what that means, but I hope I can fit. What's the main meal? It's everything. <laughs> Tune in later. Curly G floats beyond belief and floats away, away, away. Cut. I just finished eating. Do I look any bigger? Do I look more like Grandpa? Hmm. I don't know if I can sound any more like him. I'm not even trying. Tell you see? <laughs> no, let me tell you. A lot of the movies I've been in, I don't get speaking parts because they think this is my register. I know how we can make you sound like your grandfather. What are you going to do? Oh, oh. <laughs> mm. Don't be a wise guy. Let me finish my uh, saying that I was going to say. So, I haven't got a lot of lines in these movies because they think that this is my only register. You got a lot of lines in your no, face. No, but I got a lower register. In fact, there's a cash register over there. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, listen. I love the fans. I love the peeps. And I love that lady. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Ah! 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 Ah!